Training continues with high intensity as Will singles out Lucky for his lack of aggression. Lucky, Lucky. Let go of that ball, Wally. Mean it. Here, Lucky. Get out of the way, I'm a skinny fucker. Come on. Fucking hurt me. Fucking hurt me. Right, on the floor, my ball. You wanna go again? You wanna go again? Wanna go again? Wanna go again? You're gonna fucking hurt me? Yeah? You're gonna fucking hurt me? Come on! Good lad! Better! Better! One again! One again! On your feet! Come on! Come on! What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Come on! Good it! Good it! Why do we have to put a fucking TV camera and make it like a gladiator circus to get you a run? He got up and said, do it again. I thought, well, I looked at him and to be like, are you serious? Like, are you actually serious? But I thought, ah, cool, I've done it. And the third time he said do it, I just thought, you know what, okay, now I'm just gonna flatten him out, just straight. And I think, in a way, like I say, when it does come to playing, that should be the way that I should be playing throughout. It's all about standards. <coughs> we set standards so we can improve on them. There was a lot of standards set today, but there was a lot more effort, uh, desire, and emotion, I saw a lot of emotion today. And if you think today was emotional, wait until we play tomorrow. The next morning, and it's the first game day for the school of hard knocks. One player has returned to training after a short enforced absence. Go! Paulius. Yeah. I took him down to Salvation Army. He's been there all weekend. What a different man he looks. He looks incredible. He's come in this morning. He said he hasn't drunk since last Thursday. Uh, we can only take him at his word, but yeah. he looks fresh. He, look, he, look, he looks good. Gone. He's, he's, like you say, his complexion's looking a lot better. He's a little less orange than uh, possibly yeah. he's been over the last uh, couple of weeks. And he actually, I think, I think he enjoys it there. As the squad finishes the morning session, the lads start to prepare themselves for their first proper match. I think it'd be good if we lost. I think if we win, it's going to be out of pure luck and everyone's going to think we're superstars and everyone on the team's going to think that we're the greatest, but we're not. Yeah, we're school of hard knocks and we're going to give them some hard knocks. We're going to tell them, show them who we really are. How's the mood? How's the vibe? Well, it's good. Look, the boys have congratulated themselves on a team photo before they've even played. Look at that. They're having, they're having team photos already. They've not even played yet. Look at him. He's in the mirror. Check in. He looks all good. Have a look in front of you. Everything all right? Yeah, he had to be a bat, didn't he? And it's a disrespect to my number, 13. That he's looking in the mirror before he goes out. Then, Corset boy, he looks in good shape. And then over there, you got the caged assassin. You've got the tiger. Oh, that's me? Yeah. David Beckham. Sweden, that's my man! Get your shirt on. We've had the talking. We bullshitted today, this morning. We fucking messed about in the changing rooms. Goes out the window now. You play rugby now, yeah? We don't fuck about in rugby because otherwise you get hurt, yeah? One, two, three, hard Good lad, Quaid, you can come across a bit. Sammy's all right there. Four try there, just fantastic. The boys, the, the execution at the moment is far beyond and exceed anything that, that they expected. <laughs> it's exactly what we wanted, some early confidence, and they fancy it now. But, rugby game's 80 minutes. It's a good start, it's now how we react. Unlucky, unlucky. I'm not being pushed around like we were there. Not good enough. You get tighter, we get lower, we get underneath them, and we fucking push them on this pad, yeah? John leading really, really well. Back row working really hard, uh, in fairness, um, uh, up front. Uh, Kelly scrummage well. They're coming in. Lucky's putting himself about a bit, but we just need to control a little bit more uh, with ball in contact. Like Denzel going again. Look at that, man. He's in, he's in, he's in. That's fantastic. Yes, get in, Quaze. But Quasi's celebrations don't last long as his anger issues once again flare up 
during an off the ball incident. I don't want any debate about it. I want rugby and rugby only. He's gone 20 yards carrying seven men. Half of them are his own. Oh, close. We've got it. Yes! Oh, yes! No, no, no. Yes! Try. We work, we work at that. We've been working at that for And you go kidney, your commitment is there. You don't always see it in training. So I was quite surprised today, very pleasantly surprised that it was there. Now that's set in stone. As Scotty says, now you've set the benchmark. Now, unfortunately for you, we won't accept anything less. And we're going to get better, and we're going to get better, we're going to get tighter, and we're going to get tighter. And now, there's nothing other than victory will do in that final game. Because today, you've laid a marker in the sand. The game, I'll tell you what, the game was one of the best games I've ever played, where I've played football, basketball, whatever. That was one of the best games ever. To go from that, from nothing at all, to a team, and to win a team that's been playing for years. Best, best feeling so far. Loved it. In the next part, the squad travel to a flood-stricken North Wales for some team building that ends with the side in complete disarray. After an epic journey from East London, the team have ended up in North Wales, miles away from the nearest town. This is not my sort of thing at all, man. What, what did the guys think on the bus when they were walking through the, uh, the puddles and the rivers and the rain? Uh, this is a bit too wet. This is not what we were look, not, not what we're looking for. And especially with all this greenery around, it don't look too good. We're going to go to Nancomo Rugby Club where you're going to have a bit of a run around, get the journey out of your system, and then we're off to our accommodation. Our accommodation is somewhere up there in the hills. Somewhere. I like um, <laughs> and when you get there, you are going to prepare your food for this evening and also prepare some of your food for tomorrow as well. Okay.